Hey guys, welcome to Chris's Clock Shop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I put together a clock movement. There's a couple ways I've done this in the past, but this is the way that I use and I find that it's very easy to do, the most effective. So I'm going to demonstrate putting this movement together. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is position all your gears. So this is i uh, got two gear trains strike at a time, so it's a little bit simpler mechanism to put together than if you've got three, like a Westminster. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put my elbow on my bench so that my arm doesn't get tired when I put the plates together. So bear with me while the camera moves. I'm going to put my elbow on the bench. I'm going to hold my movement flat. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my plate on the top. And I'm going to let gravity kind of position it. Now this, so this movement has a spring here, this wire spring. And I want to make sure it gets into the hole. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little pressure to get this going on the posts. All right. And then basically what I want to do is I want to use my tweezers to try and get the barrels in the rear at the bottom of the plate into position. So I've got this barrel, this barrel, and this wheel in the pivot hole. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my nuts and screw it on just so it's tight and it's not going to go loose on me. And those pivots that I got in there are going to stay in position. Okay, but I don't want to tighten this down and bend any pivots. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to position the center book pivot okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down on the bench carefully flat like so and I've got those bottom gears in position and I can actually lay this flat down All right, so now when I've got it laying on the bench, I've got this gear in the pivot hole, or I'm sorry, this barrel rather, and I got this other barrel on the other side of the movement in there, and I got that center time wheel in there as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this like a sandwich. I'm going to apply light pressure to the center of the movement. And I'm going to take my tweezers here, I'm going to start at the gears closest to the bottom and I'm going to start positioning these in the pivot hole of each. And I'm going to look at which gears are closest to the plates because they're not all the same dip, uh, width. Okay, so now I've repositioned my camera on my movement. Uh, so hopefully you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so I got my sandwich hand here and I'm applying light pressure, move it just a hair, okay? And I'm gonna take each gear and just make sure that the pivot is partially in each hole, okay? That one's already in there. Okay, my spring is where it needs to be. I'm gonna grab the fly is kind of in the way here. You can see this this gear here. See how um, I can grab it. All right. And it looks like I'm gonna put. The, I might need the uh, plates come apart slightly, so I'm gonna. 
platform approach just to here. Okay. So I can grab that. Put it in a position. Okay. Put my sandwich hand back. All right. Now this one I might block your view a bit. Grab go down in here. That one. I'm going to grab the fly. Okay. Morning wheel. Okay. I got them all. Should be able to just squeeze that together. Okay. So hopefully that was clear to you guys. So basically what I did was I grabbed each gear and manually put it into position while I was applying light pressure with my left sandwich hand. I was grabbing the wheel, positioning it in the pivot, partially in the front while it didn't bring it out of the uh, the plate that it was sitting in in the bottom. Okay, so the plate's got to be close enough to where they can sit in between both plates uh, without falling out of either one, and yet far enough away to where I can still maneuver them into position. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. Hopefully that made sense and was helpful to you, and you're um, better equipped to put your movements together. I find that... Uh, for me, this is the easiest way to do it, wherein you're less likely to bend any pivots or tire your arm out. Um, some people just, uh, you know, hold it up like I did in the beginning and put the whole movement together that way. Um, and that's the way I used to do it. But I find my arm gets kind of tired and um, I'm more likely to bend pivots doing it that way. Um, so this technique I find is very effective. You can do it with Westminster movements, uh, grandfather clock movements, pretty much any movement you can do that with. All right. So let me know if that was helpful. And thanks for watching.